Hey guys, I'm going to be making a quick video. It's not going to be too long, I don't think. And I really want you guys to hear me out because I may sound crazy to the carnal mind. But um, I don't know if you guys know about DNC um, for like the Democrats and stuff like Kamala Harris is, you know, trying to promote her campaign and all that. I do want to talk about a sponsor that she had at her con at her campaign but she didn't she didn't it wasn't listed as a campaign and I'm talking about Planned Parenthood they were there in a like taco truck literally offering free abortions. um and I'm not joking because I know you guys don't like to do your research you should even after listening to this video I'm not even trying to sway your vote but please just be responsible enough to actually know who you're voting for and like what they're doing in their policies because there's been a few comments and I've talked to people and you can just tell that people don't even do their research I know you guys really like Kamala because she's black and she's a woman but the things that she's trying to do is not good so um she's giving out free um abortion pill pills and facilities and you guys really have to like critically think because they have painted abortion as something that is liberating for women rather than just not having sex and putting yourself in that position anyway or if you're going to do that and get pregnant there's not a lot of like systems online at least showing you how you can like get through that rather than just getting your baby and the reason I'm talking about DNC is because there's already been 25 <laughs> I think probably more by now because this was like a few days ago and believe it or not y'all this is what's going to sound crazy I really do think this is like a sacrifice of some kind and I don't want to make everything about Jesus but everything is about Jesus and you guys already know they keep the DNA they keep the blood and they are going to want to take the purest blood whatever whatever is closest to the blood of Jesus they're going to want. And I'm not saying that this is a tactic, but the election is coming and they're going to do anything to get your vote. And if that is a free abortion, imagine how many girls that don't even know what they're doing are going to say, this is so great how she's trying to help women. She does not want to help you. She does not care about us. Look up her policies. Even when it comes to abortion, guys, and this is for like my black viewers, this is for everybody, but for like the BLM mob, y'all gotta think like Planned Parenthood literally kills the most black people. Like you guys need to do, like do your research. The amount of black babies they have aborted is probably the reason that we are a minority. Let's be so for real. And it's like something that people don't want to talk about because like a is so touchy. But like I'm just gonna go ahead and cross that line because I don't get how you guys don't see how like demonic and satanic this is. This is literally like a blood offering. Like, I'm really not trying to sound crazy. I'm straight. But, like, are you guys not seeing, like, what's going on? All the crazy stuff that's been going on this year. How they tried to literally assassinate Trump. Are you guys not seeing the signs? How they're, how they're trying so hard to get to the top. To win. So things can get worse. So food can get more expensive. She's doing exactly, they're doing, Biden and Kamala are doing exactly what they said like four years ago. They said that they were going to lower the prices, that food was going to be affordable, that they're going to pay for all these things. Why fall for it again? Because Kamala's on the forefront. I'm just telling you guys, I'm trying to warn you guys, like, please open your eyes, remove the veil from your eyes. Like, this stuff is no joke. Like, it's not something to just... Oh, I'm just going to go vote for her because women's rights. Have some self-respect. How about that? If you guys don't see this as an offering or a sacrifice, like, okay. Be delusional. Be ignorant in your bliss. But there's a clear agenda. And don't you, don't, don't people like, okay, let's say you don't support Trump. Like, don't you think, hmm, like, dang, they really demonize this man, like, they, they say everything that he do is wrong. Like, don't that make you want to look into what his policies actually are and what he's actually doing? Because it's not as bad as y'all think. And when it comes to, um, my views have changed a lot this year, especially because, um, 
I was like pro-choice, especially when it came to instances of like assault or like incest, um, especially like incest, because when it comes to SA, it's like, you guys have to like, this sounds weird to say, but like, put yourself in that position. You're, you've been traumatized, you've been essayed, and then you're, you're giving up your child because a criminal has the same DNA as your child. Like, the, the DNA is criminal and your criminal is in the child. So it just makes you want to eliminate the baby. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And I feel like something like that would cause even more trauma. And it does, because you guys really need to research and see, like, women who get a... It's like a point point one percent that ends up being happy and they're not even really happy because people still live with that guilt and people still wish that they can see their child and they have to think about that every day and you also have to feel it whether you get the clamps that go in there and mutilate the baby and take all the limbs off or if you take the pill and feel it literally disintegrate inside of your body it's not it's not as liberating as they're trying to paint it so let this be a message from God because I just got this revelation and I think there's some evil going on behind this. I don't think like, why would they have a truck giving out free? They are trying to bribe you guys. That is, <laughs> that is bribing. Like that is bribery. And then they said Beyonce was going to come and you guys, every, you guys know everybody worships, worships Beyonce. They would literally kill for her. So everybody decided to go to the DNC because there was a rumor out that Beyonce came and she didn't come because Kamala is a liar and she'll say anything to get your vote. If you guys don't start to see this stuff, you're going to look like a fool if they get elected and we have to live another four years of what we just went through. So everything is spiritual, y'all. This is a spiritual battle, believe it or not. They put this front and center the Democratic Party put this front and center. They made they made reproductive rights and health care, which is not health care. They made that front and center so they can catch your attention. And it's it's not what it seems to be. It's really not. It, it's it's really not. And just think, why would they do that? Why would they make that front and center? They're, they're, that's weird. <laughs> There's some weird stuff going on. Let's pause on the women real quick. Let's talk about the free facilities. They're they're pushing that. Think about the audience or think about the age range. They're trying to cater to people our age and women our age, men our age, like in our young, young 20s, maybe even younger, unmarried. You're making a decision like I'm like the kind of person like I know I don't want kids. But you really never know what God will like do for you. And it's like, think about think. Imagine you're a young man and you're like, oh, free, free vaccines because Kamala Harris, which there's probably not as many vaccines as there are abortions because I don't think they're going to vote for Kamala like a lot of women do. Like, I think most of the votes for Kamala are going to be women and like white liberal men. Um, but think about like a man or a young, a young man getting a vaccine. You literally won't be able to have kids like. That's what she's, can you guys like see how like, can you guys see what I'm talking about? They're, they're pushing a lot of ideologies, these reproductive rights, stop you from having kids, stop, stop population, stop more humans from coming. They also do it with other agendas like the LGBTQ plus community and they really push that too because they know that they can't procreate. And that's not the whole point. I'm, I'm not big on procreation. But just, guys, really think. Really think. Really think, please. Please. Please see. Really see what's going on. For yourself, by the way. You know, don't let me make choices for you. I actually want you to go and do your research and just see how, like, how, like, weird and off this all really is you guys are if you're voting for kamala you're voting for someone who won't even be able to talk to other officials like other um presidents of other countries she can't publicly speak without the teleprompter she never really knows what she's talking about she is like word salad repetitive policies when it comes to immigration she wants to 
let more immigrants in which are which they are killing us and they are taking our jobs like trump said but you guys got so offended about him saying oh they're taking black jobs he's literally not lying like he's being so serious she wants to let them in she wants to fund them give them homes and money when we have been asking for that for the past four years like can I, do y'all need any more examples? Cause that should be enough. <laughs> she also wants to take, defund the police even more. And then, you know, that's gonna be hellfire if more chaos comes. And then we're not gonna have anybody to protect us unless you're a gun owner, you know, you're just able to like, you know, protect yourself like that. But stop playing with your lives, y'all. This generation is prophetic. We're gonna make the most change. And you just gotta start with opening your mouth and standing for what's right because just because most of the people are saying oh yeah rights these rights these rights women's rights trans rights lgbt rights think about what actually matters please 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 think about your core values and morals rather than all this cute shit that's that's masqueraded as as empathetic but deep down at the core it's really evil And I was watching a TikTok <laughs> and um, this girl was like, y'all talking about some demure, 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 y'all demonic, for real. <laughs> ain't nothing demure and classy and cute about none of that. Think about who Kamala in, has endorsed her, like people like Megan Thee Stallion. And you guys know I've talked about her before. I used to really like her, but I feel like, you know, just as I've came to Jesus, like I've been turned off by a lot of secular music and a lot of artists because they do not... They don't have our best interests and they don't promote anything good. Someone like Megan Thee Stallion promotes you to be a hot girl and to go have, you know, do whatever with anybody and be that girl or whatever. And just think about DNC, how frontline they're, they're, they're providing um, emergency contraceptives, which is like plan B and stuff like that. So I guess Kamala just wants you to be like, getting it on right before and you know you can come and get a free plan b at the dnc it's like do do y'all not see that as weird like why would you i just want you guys to imagine how many people went and got those plan b pills for when they need it because you know people are reckless on purpose we, we sin on purpose because of our flesh and our temptations and our desires and stuff like that. And, and, but they, they want you to do that. They don't see it this way, how, like how I'm saying it, but they want you to do all that stuff. And then that's why they're providing all this stuff. That's why they want you to go and kill your baby so they can take that and you can just leave and feel free and feel liberated. Whole time you thinking, dang, did I really just do that? If you know anybody in your real life, because I know, I know about three people who have had a They aren't the happiest people. And it's not about happiness at the end of the day. Happiness isn't the goal. Are you fulfilled and are you okay with your decision? Because you guys really have to like, think about how like, how troubling that is for a woman. Regardless of how she got there, got to the pregnancy, she was pregnant, she had a baby, and something convinced her, yes, it is okay to terminate, to to my child. No, that's not okay, that's not okay. And just another point, just to like really drag this on, and just so it's like really... I'm just hoping I'm really planting a seed, but this DNC event was in Chicago. This this taco truck giving operation is in Chicago. So just think think about the population. Think about how many black people are there. and how they've literally brainwashed our people and made them fast essentially made them hot girls and grown whatever they want to do make the men 
ghetto gangbangers putting their stuff in anybody that got two feet, impregnating them. The girls were realizing, realizing, hmm, I got me a deadbeat, a deadbeat man. Let me go get in the because Kamala's giving out free pills. Think about the other other areas: Detroit, New York. The plant Planned Parenthoods there. They are doing so good in business, because think about who is going there: black women, and think about who is dying: black babies. But I thought Black Lives Matter. Do you guys get what I'm saying? And how they're how they how they really like fooled y'all and like did a really good job of like tricking us and making it seem like they're doing us a favor and then they want to put immigrants in. And then what are the immigrants going to do? They're going to start populating in those cities where it's majority black. The black population will be decreasing. I hope you guys see that. So that's why I made a whole video about why black people shouldn't vote for Kamala Harris. But literally this video isn't just for black people. This is about a and how they're babies and how this is very demonic at the end of the day and this is just how I see it like there's no other way to see it and I used to be pro-life or I used to be pro-choice so if I can have a shift like this I think you can too I don't care what you've been through I grew up in the trenches and I used to I used to love that excuse oh I don't want I don't want a kid to grow up in a in a in a bad environment or they shouldn't be born if if the woman got, you know, essay, la la la. Babies didn't choose any of that. But babies and everybody, because we're in the United States, should have a chance to live and have the right to live. They have fundamental rights just like you do. Once you're pregnant, it's not just you. It's not your body, your choice. There's a whole nother human inside of you. So it's like that argument completely fumbles and it literally doesn't make sense to me anymore now that I've like come to my senses. And I just really want to tell you guys that because I just hope you guys see it too. And um, if RFK or whatever his name is, um, if the independent nominee literally dropped out the race and endorsed Donald Trump, then you guys should see that as, oh, maybe we, maybe we should vote, you know the lesser of two evils or whatever you want to call it i don't think trump evil you know he got a smart mouth and he says certain things like he's pro-choice but it's literally he's trying so hard to get you guys to see like he wants to make america great but all people can worry about is um rumors about racism and sexism and who he's dating and who he's with all these things that are untrue but all of these things that we say about Kamala are true and you guys don't seem to care. And they're all way worse than what Trump got going on. So. But I just encourage you guys to go and do your research because. Um, yeah, this is this was really going on or maybe still is going on. I'm not really trying to pay attention to all that. But um, when I found out about that, I just had to say to them, so, say something because like clearly there's some darkness clearly clearly there's no playing on the fence and having one foot in and one foot out you got to choose a side pick a side quickly you guys have a blessed day i'm heading out i'm gonna live stream i actually wanted to upload another video before this one but it's, I have two hours of uh, raw footage. It's from vacation. I went down south um, and it was so fun. But I just got to get this out real quick on this good Saturday because I need to let y'all know. So it's not like taking days and days because I literally be kind of taking forever to edit. So I just had to pop in real quick. Going to do like minimal edits and just upload this for you guys so you guys are able to see this. Uh, and yeah. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.